Prince Harry has broken his silence when it comes to the Prince Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein scandal. And as ever, he had to make it about himself. up everyone it's me Steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative filling in for Andy whilst he's on holiday at the moment and uh yeah Prince Harry has broken his silence when it comes to the Prince Andrew Hefe will now call him situation and we're going back to pretty much this time last year when his book Spare came out otherwise known as Wah. And this is what he said about it all. He writes, quote, Meg asked me one night, you don't think they'd ever pull our security, do you? Never. Not in this climate of hate and not after what happened to my mother. Also, not in the wake of my uncle Andrew. He was embroiled in a shameful scandal, accused of SA of a young woman, and no one had so much as suggested that he lose his security. Whatever grievances people had against us, these kind of crimes weren't on the list. So here he is explaining just before Megxit, so just before they leave the royal family, right? Megzi turns around and is like, we're not going to lose our security, are we? And Hazard's like, oh, hell no, don't worry about that. There's hate going around. They're not going to make the same mistake that they did with Princess Diana, my mother, and uh, yeah, Look at old Uncle Andrew and what he's been up to, allegedly, and he's still got his security, so nah, we're going to be Gucci, we're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Their security was totally stripped from them as soon as they left the royal family, and quite rightly too, because at the end of the day, the security for the royal family is paid for by us the British taxpayer. And the last thing I think that us taxpayers want to do is pay for the security for those freaking grifters over in California. But as ever, yes, he breaks his silence about the Prince Andrew Heffy scandal and had to make it about him and Megzi, right? But there's a little bit of a flaw in his argument here because he turns around and he says, well, you know, Prince Andrew, my uncle, has still got security. Uh, no, not at all. No, um, it was only a few months back, back in August last year, Prince Andrew has actually launched a legal big bid to try and get back the taxpayer funded security after he was stripped of this protection following the case from, we'll call her, VG. So, yeah, what Prince has said here about Prince Andrew, uh, uh, Prince Andrew with the whole, well, you know, he was embroiled in that scandal with VG and he still was able to keep his security. So, Megzi, don't worry your little cotton socks about it. <clears throat> yeah, no, Prince Andrew totally lost the taxpayer-funded security with everything that he was allegedly involved in. Now, there is more fresh hell for Prince Andrew after this week uh, with part one of the files being released, the Hefe list as it's being called. And in it, we found that allegedly uh, Prince Andrew had, we'll call this multiple fun times on the island. So, um, the, there was a girl only named as Jane Doe 3, so not specifically identified other than that, uh, who allegedly was told to give him whatever he wants. Yep. Uh, and was told to have intimate moment uh, with Prince Andrew during a multiple fun time on the island. Uh, the newly unsealed document contains statements where Jane Doe 3 also claims uh, that she was forced to have intimate relations with Prince Andrew when she was a minor, so when she was underage, in three separate geographical locations. Now, what's going on on the other side of the aisle? Because we've already reported on this channel uh, that we'll call her Maxipad, 
uh, has already, through her lawyer, broken a silence with the first release of the Hefe list, right? But yeah, the files that have been unsealed has shown that Maxwell's lawyer actually tried to use Buckingham Palace's defense of Prince Andrew in court, in her own court case. So it shows that her attorney, Laura Menninger, used the palace's defense of Prince Andrew in an attempt to get the 2015 defamation case brought by VG against Maxipad thrown out. So in 2015, the palace released a statement which stated that they emphatically denied uh, that Prince Andrew had any form of uh, intimate relationship or contact with VG. Uh, the statement also said uh, that what she was saying, VG, were false and without foundation. And so what happened was Maxipad's lawyer filed a motion claiming, quote, to have been involved in intimate relations uh, with Prince Andrew, with world leaders, a former prime minister of some country or other, American lawyer, uh, Mr. Alan Dershowitz. Uh, and then the lawyer also added, the press comes calling and asks my client and Mr. Dershowitz and Prince Andrew and everyone else whether any of the allegations contained in this legal pleading are true. Buckingham Palace issued a statement flatly denying the claims made by plaintiff here. And it's also very, very important to know that years down the line, VG yeah. actually drops her lawsuit against Alan Dershowitz, the lawyer, essentially turning around and saying, whoops, I was mistaken, my bad. Yeah, VG, as far as I'm concerned, is not as credible as she makes out to be. Uh, but uh, Maxipad's lawyer goes on to then say, uh, Buckingham Palace said her claims were absolutely untrue and added that while others have called her a liar, notably Mr. Dershowitz, quite rightly so after what happened to him, and others have denied claims that plaintiff has made, including Buckingham Palace, uh, Maxipad has not actually ever called her a liar. And so... Um, from all of this, going back then to what's going on with the Prince Andrew situation after the first batch of the court papers have been unsealed, um, there's claims that, you know, King Charles's yeah. determination has been crystallised uh, to deal decisively with his brother and that there's no way back. Um, we know that Allegedly, Prince Andrew has been trying to worm his way back into royal life uh, and back into the inner fold and back into the spotlight. But now that these papers have been released, King Charles is like, nope, door stays firmly shut. Sources told the newspaper the release of the documents has strengthened King Charles's resolve to never allow Andrew to resume royal duties. And furthermore, not only has his security been taken away, even though, you know, Prince Hazard would have you to believe otherwise, but the Royal Lodge is back on the chopping table. Uh, there's already plans, allegedly, uh, to remove Prince Andrew from the Royal Lodge home in Windsor Great Park into a smaller property, which, rumour has it, is Hazard and Megs's old home of Frogmore Cottage. And yeah, what else could King Charles do? Because the second batch of the Hefe files is coming up. And what else is going to be in there that involves Prince Andrew, allegedly? Only time will tell and we will report on it here on Popcorn Planet as and when it comes out. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to Popcorn Planet. Turn that notification bell to all. Like this video. Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, go one step further and join today. Become a Popcorn Planeteer for as little as $5.99 a month and get exclusive content from the man himself, Andy Signor. With that being said, thank you so, so much for tuning in to this video. Really appreciate all your faces. And coming up on the screen right now are some videos that you may want to clickety-click, clickety-click.